Most Kent County residents who call 911 are connected to Kent County Dispatch. For residents of the cities of Wyoming and Grand Rapids, calls are handled by Grand Rapids Dispatch. That will soon change when Wyoming joins Kent County Dispatch in July. Recently, the Board of Commissioners Finance and Physical Resources Committee took action to recommend to the Board of Commissioners um, that we enter into a contract with the City of Wyoming similar to the agreements uh, or contracts that we have entered into with every other local unit of government. That has gone through the Board of Commissioners process, it is going through the City of Wyoming process, so effective Ju July 1 of 2016, the City of Wyoming will be contracting with Kent County Sheriff's Department to provide call taking and dispatch services. The agreement will make Kent County one of the largest dispatch centers in the state of Michigan. We will have to add staffing to assist in the process and Wyoming will be paying for, for much of that and uh, that will only help to serve uh, uh, our dispatch operations better and, and that will allow us to respond to these calls sooner. On a lighter note, spring in Kent County. It's time to think about packing away the winter gear and getting outdoors again. Where better than Kent County to enjoy the great outdoors? Kent County has some great natural amenities. Now, there are multiple golf courses, one owned by Kent County, the Kauffman Golf Course. We have multiple parks. Our local units of government have parks. The County of Kent has a number of parks, our biggest being Millennium Park, uh, which last year had its um, record highest record of attendance. We have the John Ball Zoo, which is being run by uh, 501c3 nonprofit, but it's also uh, the property itself is owned by the county and, and the zoo is coming off of its highest uh, record of attendance. So there are just a lot of things that uh, we have to be thankful for in the county and we expect to see people out in the great weather to enjoy those amenities. Be sure to check back here next month for the video blog. Have a great day, Kent County.